everyone, Salamat Harry Raya. Salamat Harry Raya. Yeah, that was not bad. And today we are going to be making pineapple tarts, okay? Harry Raya is happening in Malaysia. This is my first time not celebrating it in Malaysia. I have to celebrate it here. Um, and we can't find pineapple tarts anywhere. And you know I love pineapple tarts, right? Yeah. So, so do we, I. You like pineapple tarts as well, right? So we thought we would try and make them here in England. We found a recipe from klefoodie.com. Mum's not very confident, yeah, are you? I don't think they're going to taste like we get in Malaysia. But I think we're going to make them really awesome. I think it's going to go so well. After this, we're going to have our own pineapple tart business. Isn't that right? Uh, probably not. So all you need to make pineapple tarts is pineapple, duh, condensed milk, sugar, egg, lemon juice, unsalted butter, flour, and a good chef. The first step is to make the pineapple puree. Now we have used these pineapple chunks. Now we are going to blend it. I wanted to do it, but apparently my mum didn't trust me in the kitchen. Now I think there'd be more pineapple under the walls than in the bowl. How dare you? <laughs> So mum has very awesomely blended the pineapple into this puree, which is going to be our filling. So what we've got to do is cook this filling. So we're going to stir this around until it becomes golden brown. And you cannot let it burn. You've got to make sure you keep stirring it consistently. So things were looking good in the kitchen. The pineapple puree was being made. Everything was going smoothly until happy chef mum turned into evil chef mum. I think we need to turn it down a bit. Like, what, the bottom, not... the bottom of the pan, it's going to burn! It's not, it's fine. But keep stirring it. You've got to keep stirring, stirring it. it. You're not stirring it. I'm stirring it, Mum, look! Yeah, don't no, do it like it. that! Look. Be careful, look. look at my cooker! You're worse than Gordon Ramsay, you are. Get out! We're going to turn it up. I think you should turn it up, Mark, because I think it's going to splatter everywhere. There, there we go. Splatter. Ah, splatter. Ah, splatter. Ah, splatter. Ah, splatter. Ow! Splatter. Oh, right. Mumsy, mumsy knows. Mumsy knows. I'm meant to be making these pineapple tarts and then she's once again took over in the kitchen. I tried. Okay, enough arguing in the kitchen. Let me tell you what you do next. Well, you stir, you wait, you stir, and you wait. Yes, boiling this pineapple took us about an hour. So if you're looking for something quick to bake, make sure it's not pineapple tarts. Once the pineapple filling becomes more dry, you then add sugar and a tablespoon of lemon. I don't know why you put lemon juice in it. That's quite weird in my opinion. I've never tasted the lemon in pineapple tart. Maybe that's why it tastes so nice. I've added the sugar and the lemon. So I think they're probably gonna have to stir again for another hour. Fun! And while we wait another hour for that to boil, let me tell you a fun fact about pineapple tarts. Did you know an average pineapple tart is about 84 calories? So six of these pineapple tarts is the same calories as three bowls of rice. Think about that next time you stuff your face. We've been stirring it for almost an hour now, okay? This takes so long. It's like more than an hour. So we, we're gonna give up and we're gonna transfer it into this dish and stick it in the fridge for half an hour. So the pineapple puree is in the fridge. Now it's time to make the pastry. Pineapple tart is all about that melt in your mouth texture. So we're gonna make that. So we've got flour, butter, eggs, condensed milk. We're gonna open all those and get to it. To open the condensed milk, we needed a can opener, but mum decided to not tell me the location of it. Right, so this is Mark opening the condensed milk. Well, I don't know, is this a can opener or what? Garlic got... press. Okay, I'm sorry, but that looks like a can opener. What, where is this can opener? Uh, blame me. Blame my kitchen right. drawers. What is that? Nut it's like a backside. Nut you have some weird things in the kitchen. Nut How am I meant to know where the can opener is? Yeah, well... Is it a toilet brush, is it? <laughs> what is that? It's a brush. It's a bottle brush. I'm supposed to be stirring. Well, tell me where the can opener is. I didn't ask you to film this. Probably you tried, over, you tried to embarrass me. I also found out that my mum had some very strange things in the kitchen. But in the end, we, I mean I, found the can opener. Trying to open a can. It is working. It's right handed, I'm left handed. Ha! I See? don't think it is. Right. Yes, it is. Oh, you are so dumb. Just boils all myself. 
Right, and cut your fingers on the can. You got a bad can opener. I haven't. That's not how you use a can opener. You are really dumb. For real. That's not the way you do it. You need to close it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Lord. So once you've worked out how to use the can opener, you add the butter to the condensed milk and you stir it until it becomes nice and creamy. After that, we need to add one egg yolk. So crack open an egg and separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. Whites of the egg in one, yolks in another bowl. You got two bowls, have you? Okay, so only that, we don't want any whites. Can't be any bit of the white on it. Just look. Gotta get rid of, no, oh, none of that. it. That was so smooth. <laughs> Now you can't use it now. It's half of this. Rule <laughs> no, number one: that. don't waste food. If it's got any whites in it, Mark, there's no whites. Use the orange. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat, it, beat, it, beat, it, beat those eggs with your chef hat on. Just beat it. Once you've beaten the egg, it's time to add the flour. Now, if your mum gets annoyed like mine, try not to spill it on her kitchen. After that, you keep stirring and stirring to make that cookie crust pastry melt in your mouth later on. And if you've got some spare time, show off your skills in the kitchen. Throw it in the air and show Gordon Ramsay who the boss is. I bet you can't do this, Gordon. <laughs> no. Catch. Whoa. The next step is to make the egg wash. Why is it called an egg wash? I don't know. But you will need one more egg yolk, half a tablespoon of oil and some condensed milk. And then, yes, you guessed it, stir away. All right, so after like an hour and a half of making the pineapple puree, we've got the pineapple puree out of the fridge and it's pretty good. We have our pastry mix over here that we've made and we have our egg wash. So what we're gonna do next is make 50 of each. So you're gonna make 50 pineapple things. I'm gonna make 50 pineapple balls. And I'll make, and 50, make 50 dough balls, dough balls or dough balls. Yeah. balls. Okay, well, I've actually got my pieces done already. You're taking. You have to make them into round balls. That's not round balls. Are you quite in control? You do them then, please. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm just laughing. Once you've equally divided the pineapple pastry and the pineapple filling, it's time to flatten the pastry, put the pineapple filling inside, and fold the pastry on top. It sounds simple, but as you can see, we didn't have a clue what we were doing. Perfect. Perfectly crumbled. So we are washing our pineapple tarts with the egg wash. You put a lot in there. Is that, is that, is that how much we have to put on? Oh, we've got it's all this Quite a lot. Mum, you're literally drowning it in there. So what is this actually? Hey! You got on my shirt, you got on my shirt! This is an expensive shirt, so it's you can pay, get off. What does this do? It makes it look nice. Look nice and brown when they come out of Ooh, the oven. Okay. Finally, done it. Well, they're not made yet, but we have our pineapple tarts here. Meant to be 50, it's ended up <laughs> being about 20. Um, and we also have our special ones over here. So these are our pineapple tart inventions and these three with pineapple on the outside as well. So mum, you're gonna put them in the oven for 20 minutes, aren't you? I am. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for then? And these, chobbity chop. It's not what you told me. You told me make a nice happy video about pineapple tarts <laughs> and you're just- It's being fun, isn't it? It's been no. fun. You've been getting very stressed out with it all. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. We are now ready to take them out. Let's see what they look like. Okay, I'm so scared. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, smell nice. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. I don't know what to say because they look really big. They don't look like the normal pineapple tarts I would have, but they smell good and they look pretty good. Visually, it looks stunning. Well, cheers. cheers. Pineapple tarts from England. It's got a nice crisp, mm. dark brown colour on the edge. Thank you, chef. The sugar has almost glazed the pastry. The flavour's amazing. OK, so well done. OK, congratulations. Really good job. Mm. Oh, wow. That was good, isn't it? <laughs> Out of ten, what would you give it? Ten, ten really? Mm. Melts in your mouth. Sorry guys, usually when I do these videos, I, I'm very energetic and I say lots of things, but I'm just, I'm just really enjoying it. <laughs> I just, 
I've got nothing to say apart from divine. It's tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. It's had a good ending, okay? It would have been really bad <laughs> if it took so long and it was rubbish. Honestly, these taste so good. Pineapple tarts are my favourite and I've managed to make them today successfully with my mum. If you want these pineapple tarts, comment below. I'll send them on a private jet from England to Malaysia. There, won't be, there won't be any left, buddy. No, we'll finish them all. Cheers. Cheers. Good job. Mmm.